Okay, so I've got to envision what a furnace unit here. And um, client reached out to me. This thing was down since the summertime because there is a bad fan motor, as you can see right here. This motor is bad. So since summertime, now we're in winter. Right, we're in winter right now. We can see we're doing heat. And the uh, previous contractor, they got this easy, easy motor drop in. Pretty good product. I've used them before. But uh, what they failed to realize is that this unit, this unit, and this motor, this motor had a feedback. It had a feedback for RPM that goes back to the main control board, right? Goes back to the main control board right here. And so whenever the fan is on, the signal will go back to the main board. And if the signal doesn't go back to the main board, you will get this alarm right here. This, light, this LED will be red and you will get this alarm right here. Airflow alarm. So since summer, they, they couldn't get this thing to work. And um, so, you know, came in, came in, and I saw what's going on. But from the manuals, <clears throat> from the manuals, I realized that this unit has the option to use both ECM fan motors like this one here. This is an EC fan motor, an ECM motor. This one here is an ECM, ECM right here. So you see this motor right here. This is an ECM motor. So this unit has two, came with two options. If you can use an ECM motor, or it comes with an option with a permanent split capacitor. If you don't know what a permanent split capacitor motor is, right? Ask a question in the comment section. So how do I solve this? Dip switch. I want to point out my little screwdriver. What's that? Okay, there you go. So this dip switch right here, this one, is switch band number three. Out of the, out of out of the box, switch number three was on over here and that is telling the the control board to look to look for rpm feedback from the ec fan so once you flip this switch switch number three switch back number three and switch number three there's actually three and three once you switch this switch back to off As you can see right now, let me zoom in on that. Okay, so once you switch, uh, switch number three back to the off position, now the, it's telling the board to ignore RPM sensing. So it's no longer sensing for RPM. And then what I did with this, um, this, con this controller or this easy motor drop-in business, you have the option to use PWM or 24 volts. <clears throat> so the previous contractors, they were trying to uh, use the existing plug from the existing motor, which is, where is it? This one right here, right? This one right here. This one right here went into this one right here. Okay, so they were trying to use that and Somehow, I don't know what the deal was. It just seemed like it wasn't compatible. So I simply uh, switched this toggle switch right here. Basically, if you go on the left, 